Hey guys, I'm back today with another mukbang and David is joining me in this mukbang. What's up? So, I made an invention. This is chili casserole. I made chili on the side and then I made a casserole. I'm going to show you guys up close what it looks like. And basically it's just corn tortilla chips. It has a layer of corn tortilla chips, a layer of my homemade chili. A layer of sour cream then a layer of cheddar cheese on top and then I added some um, chopped green onions and sour cream so let's dig in oh and I got some dr. dr. pepper of course and David's oh, got some what cherry, cherry coke? coke cherry coke <laughs> let's see what this tastes like because I'm always making inventions <laughs> I was in the mood for like an invention <clears throat> I've never in my life knew even chili casserole existed but whatever okay right now mm. tastes good it's good the sour cream looks like feta cheese kind of yeah, yeah it looks like like ricotta cheese right mm. Mm. Good. It's very good. Closer to me when we saw it. The tortilla chips are on the bottom. Yep. They got mushy. It looks good. They're not too hard to eat. Mm-hmm. Because that's how it is. And that's how they're supposed to get when you make a casserole. Yeah, it looks good. Mmm. Another new invention. Mmm. <laughs> if you want more sour cream, let me know. That'll be good. A little spicy, but not too spicy. I put some Valentina sauce when I cooked my chili. Mmm. Plus the cans of chili that we bought. It's a hot chili, right? Hot. But it's not, it's not hot at all. Mmm. Certain spots are. A little bit, but. Yeah. The sour cream kind of like makes it not that spicy. It, it helps. Mmm. So good. Look at that. <laughs> it has cheddar cheese, so yummy. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. This is very similar to that recipe that Mikel sent me for Mexican casserole. Yeah. Our friend tagged me on Facebook in this recipe for Mexican casserole. It's very similar, but. I haven't tried making it yet. Mm. I love green onions. The cat is his. <laughs> oh yeah, because under the table. But he's hissing. I could have sworn I heard him hiss. <laughs> Babe, <laughs> you're covering your face with a with Oh shit! <laughs> <coughs> I'm so into my food. I'm just looking down. I look up and I see the the cup cover his face. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, this is really good. Hmm. Yeah.
And Sadie just looking at us. Look, she's looking at the cops. She looks at me and then she looks at the cat. Sadie. Have a bowl of chili after this, huh? Hell yeah, shit. Because I make chili because he, he requested me to make chili because he loves my chili. So I thought, hmm, if I'm making chili, I'm going to make like a big old pot of chili and then I'm going to make like a chili casserole on the side because I've been thinking about it for a while about doing like a little invention. So it was perfect. Freak. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I think this is the fastest I've ever eaten in a mukbang. Like, I'm almost done. <laughs> Well, David is a slow eater, so I'm amazed that he's almost finished, halfway finished like me. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> Plus, we're starving. Mmm. <laughs> mmm, mmm, mmm. on that show chefs versus con seriously oh yeah you have to be a chef a on food network yeah. yeah there's this show on food network that's called chefs versus cons and you go on the show and you cook and whatever and then like the judges have to guess if you're a professional uh chef or if you're a con <laughs> Can you imagine if I go on the show and then they think I'm a professional child? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've always wanted to open up my own diner. Well, our own diner. That's like a dream of ours. Like last night our friends came over. And I made some tacos, but I did like a little invention on the side. Like I made some double-decker tacos, like the ones from from Taco Bell and um and then on the side I did like a little invention kind of like nachos or something but instead of like the corn chips I used the the hard taco shells so like I I crushed them and then I made like little kind of like uh, nachos on top so like I served them like double decker tacos with with those nachos on the side and they were like, oh my God, this tastes like restaurant quality. <laughs> my friend was like, you should start cooking from home and trying to like sell your food on the street. And maybe like that, you build up your little own clientele and <laughs> your cup is in the way again. Oh. And people will like hear about you and then eventually you could open up like your own diner or something. That would be really cool. Yep. <laughs> we'll be like Dan and Roseanne. We open up oh. our own loose meat sandwich yeah. <laughs> diner. I think we dunk. I want to say space for the chili. No, oh, we're practically done anyway. Ooh, look at that crunchy cheese on top. Oh, man. That's good. Mm. Oh, my God. So good. Hot dog. I need some more drink. I saw a lot of Dr. Pepper has just been scarfing this down. Mmm. 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 
something. Thanks for the hurricane. You need that much though, right? Yeah, you have. The hurricane. Yeah, I got soaked. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, for real. Stupid hurricane, Matthew. Everybody thought it was like coming over here, running yeah. around last minute. We boarded up all our windows and nothing. I mean, thank God for that, you know, but. Oh. I still got soaked. It's crazy because. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's crazy because today they went to the supermarket to buy the ingredients for the chili and they barely had anything. Like, they haven't stocked up on. I like the stuff like people they were out of bread still they were out of like everything potato chips almost were gone yeah. too all the bread was gone no spaghetti in the cans a lot of stuff was like gone they haven't even stocked up yet that's right <laughs> that shit was badass mm, this was so good you think this recipe will pop up in somebody else's YouTube channel? <laughs> him? him? <laughs> like maybe tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't yeah. surprise me. Oh, that was so yummy. I'm so full. My nose looks so red. Oh, God. That sucks. I don't think it does. Mmm. <laughs> She's turning in circles and she is laying down. Our dog. <laughs> Sadie. Alrighty, that was good. You liked it? It was delicious. Awesome. <laughs> Got lipstick on. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Alright, guys, so. Damn, I have big lips. What the hell is this shit? <laughs> you do have big lips, though. <laughs> Um, we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. It's actually our first time doing a mukbang together because the, the last time we did like a mukbang together, well, no, we did like that little mini thing when we yeah. went to that romantic restaurant <coughs> in the garden. And before that, we had recorded one when we did the, uh, when we tasted for the first time the cinnamon yeah. delight from Taco Bell. So, but that was like a little mini thing, and he only like tried one and then he didn't want any more. Yeah, quick shout out to Greg. See you soon, buddy. Yeah, love you, my new bestie, <laughs> Greg Stern. He's awesome. A new friend we met on um, YouTube, and now we're friends on Facebook. And um, he's planning to come visit us in uh, during spring break, hopefully. So that'll be awesome. And so, Misty has to read those gator meat, seriously. And our friend Misty, another another one that I met on um, on YouTube. I gave a shout out, so you guys look back at my videos. It says shout out to Misty in pink. She changed her name now to Misty uh, Rain Cloud, or I think it's Misty Rainstorm. And because uh, she's goth like me, she loves the goth stuff and stuff like that. So we met and we totally hit it off. So we're planning to hopefully meet someday too. And she says that when she comes visit us, she's going to bring us because her husband is a hunter. So they might bring us like some deer meat and stuff like that to try. And we're planning to like cook together, maybe do a mukbang together. So someday that'll be awesome. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so. That's it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this mukbang, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.